Hey everyone, it is Glam3. Welcome to episode 31 of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword 100% walkthrough. In the last part, we got the Gust Bellows. I don't know why that's like plural, but we got the Gust Bellows. And so we can do all sorts of crazy shenanigans with that. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded a video in like a week. Um, partly because I kind of wanted a break from doing all the Zelda, because it's a big game. And secondly, because I had to move all my recording stuff because I'm renovating my apartment, so everything's in a different place. Just one thing I want to note to you guys, if it looks like there's like a skip between when I go in a door and when I come out, I'm trying to fix that, but for right now it's a problem with my recording, so if anyone knows any tips for um, HD PVR with ITV stuff, please tell me, because it's getting very annoying, but I think I fixed it, so that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, um, all that explanation stuff aside, we are still here. Um, in the Lanayru mines, trying to get to the Temple of Time. And here's a box. And what do we do with boxes? Well, here's a button. Oh, come on, Scorpion, get out of there. There's no place for scorpions. And as I've said, this is basically the um, baby-killing dungeon. That is the theme of this area. No, Link, don't climb on top of the box. And there we go. Um, as I said, I don't really remember this dungeon that well, so I have no idea what comes up next. What will be a new door? Um, nothing interesting. Okay, then. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. It's all coming back to me. Um, kind of. Scorpions, you're just, you're going crazy. I need to find the time shift stone. I guess for right now I can just dash across. Yeah, that works. Already? Sand. Ah, oh, come on. You scorpions need to stop hiding in the sand. It's just not even sanitary. I mean, I doubt that they're concerned with that, but come on. Just a bad hiding place. Oh my god, I hate dashing. Don't notice me, scorpions. I'm invisible. Hey! Stop it! Clearly did not listen to me. Oh well. What? Oh, get off. Oh, I, these scorpions. Rapscallions. There you go. Um. This is a fan. This is a very rusty fan. It is so rusty! We cannot even use wind. Um. Ooh! A very large pile of sand. I wonder what's under that. Get away from me! Dumb fish. Hmm. Alrighty. How do those things even fly? I felt kind of mean for doing that. But, if blowing babies into sand with a giant vacuum is wrong, I don't want to be right. And now we're in the past, which looks like the future. I like this part. Go, fans! Moving on up to the other side. And now we can use this fan. Because it was just far too rusty before. The fan's a good item. In the way that, like, the spinner is a good item. As in, it's kind of useless, but it's fun. What the? Is he? Was he just move? These guys can move? Since when can they move? That is. What? How do they. They're tikis. That doesn't even make sense how they could move. Ugh, okay. Whatever. I guess they're magic tikis. Alrighty. I'm guessing we just need to do some of this, some of that. Oh no, I hate these enemies. Okay, I don't even really... I still don't even really know how to properly defeat these guys. I think you just need to... Yeah, they send out their little babies. Once again! Oh my god! I think this this whole dungeon is a huge, uh, like, political message. It's all about killing babies. Okay, come on now. It's all about robot babies. 
What are you doing here? You are babies. Go cry or something. Or do do what? Babies don't explode. <sighs> Not what normal babies do. Oh come on. Okay, let's just jump on here. Go, go. No, wrong way. Uh, I don't even know which way I want to go. What's over here? What? Death? No. Oh, come on, really? Okay, if I missed that, that would have been even more annoying. <gasps> Treasure? What did I get? I hope that it's not Odinor, because that would suck. Oh. You got a monster horn. Psh. Yeah. Still amazed that I have no bat toenails after how long I've lusted for them. Oh, hey. Maybe I can hit you from here. I think that you can use your Skyward Strike. Hey, come back here. Hello. Ah, people these days. What? Are you just going on your own little adventure? Oh, whatever. Um, let's go up there. Looks like a pretty cool place. Something important to note about the Gust Bells is, um, every time you press the B button to take them out, it'll, like, recalibrate it. Don't you dare shoot a missile that- no. Okay. See? It didn't even work. It just didn't work. Um. Here you go. Why are there so many barrels just so we can do barrel rolls? You should actually open those, because there would normally be hearts inside. Like there! What a great demonstration. Leap up a ladder. Are those cloud decorations on the ceiling? That's kind of cool. Anyway, so I heard you like dying! Ooh, money. Oh, those robots always putting money in their other robots. So... If the robots made the other robots, who made the robots that made the robots? Who knows? Really? What is it with these guys and this d dungeon? I thought I liked this dungeon, but all these guys... Ah, oh, okay. Shield dodging, go! Woo. I don't know why I'm so bad at dealing with those guys. I just am. Oh, finally. I dealt with them normally. Noodles! Those guys always look like noodles when they die, and then I get hungry for noodles. Ooh, a heart. And then I get hearts, and I get hungry for hearts. And then my friends are like, Glum, why are you gnawing on my chest? Then again, they say that even though I'm not looking for hearts, but you know what I mean. Ah, why are you guys all in the sand? Who put you there? You have a terrible mother. My mom never buried me in this... Well... No. I guess it's not that weird. Uh... Hello, Box. Do you need a friend? I'll be your friend. We have so much in common. We're both... The... Solid. We both get pushed around... By... People in green tunics. Well, that's just you. Whatever. This TV has, like, way better surround sound than my other TV. But it's bad, because whenever anything happens, I look behind me. I'm like, what was that? But no. Oh my god, your mom sucks! Jeez. Just a note, whenever there's babies in a Zelda game, like, all over the place, you'll normally fight, like, the big version of them at some point. Oh, little sand. Ooh, a time shift stone. Can I hit that from here? Indeed I can! I don't know if that was how I was supposed to do it, but... so oh well. Oh, these guys, these guys scare me. Um, how am I supposed to get in there? I guess that's for me to find out. So basically, you see these rings? You see these, um, like, patterns? 
Once you go into these areas, these guys will follow you. Now what you need to do is take out your blowy blow. Oh my, you left your area. You are a bad robot. And you want to, uh, these guys are creepy. They're going to open up their little, well, I mean, it's not really little, but they're going to open up their mouths. And then from there, you got to jab them. Oh my God, they're scary. Don't hurt me. What? You're just a big fat dummy. Here. This. Ooh. And he explodes into a pile of hearts. Wait, what about my treasure chest? Oh, there we go. That scared me. I think it's so greedy. I just I like how colorful everything is in the past, which is the future. You got a map you don't need at this point. This dungeon's so big, I almost forgot. I mean, I guess I've only been in it for one part, but I feel like I've been in it for an eternity. And once again, Zelda's decapitated head on the map. I don't know. Seems a little risky. And in here, we have... Uh, just sand, I guess. Oh, I remember this area. Yep, pretty crazy. Well, first of all, let's open this area back up. This game does that a lot. I mean, a lot of Zelda games do, but especially this game, where you, you, you get somewhere, and then you just open up a pathway that leads you back. Um... This does not look good. Oh, I know what to do. We use our trusty, dusty map. But we can't use, um, beacons. Bacons, you know. So let's just do this. Oh, come on. Why would you even put sand there? Woo. Hey, get out of here! Ugh. Their mother ought to be ashamed. Putting all our babies in sand piles. Hey there! Why are... Okay, you're dead end, I guess. Whoops. Ah, it's so tiring. Ooh, treasure! They could have been such a troll here and just made this kill you or something. Oh, what? It's ya! Okay, as I was saying... Da -da 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 -da. Singing this a lot now, because there's so many treasure chests. You got a golden skull! Why is that in a normal treasure chest? Put that in like a dumb little dinghy... Dingy wingy bad treasure chest. Not a good one. No, we're 13 minutes in. So, let's look at these guys doing a little thing. They're pretty happy. Um, I know that this isn't a super extravagant ending, but I'm going to end off this part here. So, I will see you guys next time. The common question of the video is, what is the longest break you've ever taken when playing a Zelda game? Like, yeah. Tell me in the comments below. Things you can do. You can follow me on Twitter. Whoops. You can follow me on Twitter. You can go to my Facebook fan page and like that. You can go to the Zat chat room and you can vote on the next walkthrough. Those are all the things you can do. Extra thing you can do if you are not subscribed, you probably know and you can tell by the little button. Bleh. I said that word button. The little button up above. If you are not subscribed, I suggest you do because then you can watch all my videos and have no life but you know it'll be fun so if you want to subscribe please do and I will see all of you guys next time Rah!